Hi guys, this is Joey Delos Reyes from the Combatters Training Academy. I'm here with our boxing coach today, Sean Fugincio. Today we're going to work on basically how to hold the focus pads. Typically speaking, when he throws the left hand, it's going towards my left pad, and the right hand is going to my right pad. When I hold the pads, I want to make sure that my elbows are always forward. I never want to hold the pads like this, we're going to hurt my shoulders. Also too, I want to be mindful of my face. I don't want to hold the pads too close to my face, nor do I want to hold the pads out wide like this. Nobody's head is that big. Right? Not forward like this, or two back like this, about 50% in between. So when Sean throws the jab, it goes to the left pad right here. Okay? When, I, when, he, when he throws that jab, I want to slap back a little bit, like I'm giving him a high five. Now, I'm not trying to smash his hand, I'm not trying to smash his fingers or his wrist. One more time, Sean. Good. When he throws the cross, it goes to the right pad right over here. Nice. Good sweet punch. Aim for that white dot right here. So if we move around a little bit here, it should look like this. Now notice that I don't walk around the pads like this. Go ahead, Sean. And it gets kind of boring. All I am is a glorified walking punching bag. I want to flash the pads, so get them used to seeing that target and reacting to that target. Notice, I don't know if you guys can see it, I'm slapping back a little bit to give him some resistance and also protecting my body as much as possible. Now for the left hook, I want to hold the pad like this. Because I want to simulate basically this target right here, the side of the guy's jaw. All right? Ideally, I want to hold the pad along my center line. So I don't want it out here like this, where again, I'm going to hurt my shoulder. I want it inside like this. Perfect. Right here. So we have a combination. We have a jab, we have a cross, and we have a hook. And as you can see right here, everything is nice and tight. It's not like this, here, here, and here. Okay, nobody's head is that big. If, punch, if Sean punches like that, I'm teaching him some really bad habits here, opening up his body and throwing some wide punches. Just like at a shooting range, I want to make sure that my grouping, everything is nice and tight. So again, Sean, jab, cross, hook. Tight, pop, pop, pop. One more time. Good. Over again. Left hand goes to the left pad. Right hand goes to the right pad. Left hand goes right over here. All nice and tight. Protect your body by having the pads forward. He never shoots his punches until I'm ready. Okay, that's a big safety factor right here. So unless I'm ready, that's when he throws his punches. All right? Another thing too, he always stays consistent with his rhythm. It's not like jab, then all of a sudden, bang, bang. Okay, because that's we have some mixed timings here. We have a lot of accidents. That's a basic introductory course to how to hold focus pads for beginners. Thanks, guys. Hi guys, this is Joey Delos Reyes from the Combatters Training Academy. I'm here with our boxing coach today, Sean Fugincio. Today we're going to work on basically how to hold the focus pads. Typically speaking, when he throws the left hand, it's going towards my left pad, and the right hand is going to my right pad. When I hold the pads, I want to make sure that my elbows are always